Welcome back guys to my third video on the game Granado Espada. My name is Brett Gaming and let's continue with where we last stopped, shall we? Okay, there are several cities. Actually, this is where the beginners start. Okay, there. Yes, Domingo. Domingo. License quotation. Okay. Thank you. I'm Domingo. Psych the way. If you want to use the barracks, this is your shop. Come to me. Alright, thank you. Okay, as you can see here, guys, we can increase our barracks slots. Okay, but we're gonna need money for that, so. Not now. Oh, Brad Killer Family. You've gained a lot of experience. Oh! Really? I've just spoken to you like a few seconds ago. Weird, the dungeon Alquet Moreza. It's not far from Rebeldue. It wasn't meant to be a site for the largest church in the world. But the corrupt bishop de los Lape tainted that land and now it's infested with monsters. Oh, I love that place. Recently, the monsters there have grown bold enough to venture out from the spawning grounds, the constant forays of prey are certainly threatening Rebel. We are assigning a task of force to deal with the monsters there, but they are going to need your help to succeed. Okay, let's do that. Alright. Oh. Instant quest. That's nice. Okay. Cleansing of Alquelt Moreza. Whoa, okay, as you can see here, we are engaging in battle. And those are the Rebel Dwey soldiers. Okay. Let's start killing some rogues. Boom. Yeah, stands up. That's what I'm talking about. More kills. Yep, yep, let's go, go. Oh. Come on, kill them, guys. Right. Okay, as you can see down there, down here in this wing, we have the level, the green, green bar, the level, and the stance bar, the blue one. And once they're filled up, we'll have a level up. Either the stance or our level. Now I'm doing level 1 and I need to kill more monsters. Oh. Right, stand up again. Oh. I can tell you guys, leveling in Granado Espada is simple yet hectic. You know? Because they have this um, AI which enables you to, I don't know, like fight, enables the character to fight for themselves. See like I approach the enemy here and I just click on space and that's it, they'll fight for me. Oh, oh, my scout just died there. Right. Let's get back to the soldiers. Whoa. Okay. Now the green bar on top of my scouts here means that that's the amount of time he needs for him to revive. Yeah, it's something you don't see in every game, alright? Now that my scout has died. You can see that his level is not the same as my fighter and my musketeer. But that's okay. He'll level up eventually. Right, so now we are in the entrance of the Alquel Moreza church. And oh Castor. Right, I think that should be the boss. 
Yes! Level up! Alright, let's kill this. Guy right here, this demon. Oh. Right, as you can see, I've just used the skill there. From this um, hotkeys we have here, let's say I click on Q and they'll, my characters will perform a skill. That skill clicked right there. We should accomplish! Yay! Right. Back to Sight Bear Rebel Boy. Back to Domingo. Let's talk to him. Thank you. You're back. You have successfully defeated the monsters that were bold enough to emerge from all Quelt Moreza. You have saved us all. I thank you on behalf of Rebel. You're welcome. Thank you. But this is only a temporary measure of, of for the all Quelt Moreza threat. To thoroughly eliminate their forces, you have to kill Delos Layton, who dwells in the depths of Al Quelt Moreza. <laughs> okay, I'm terrible at making those voices. You need to penetrate the darkest depths of Al Quelt Moreza to find a defeat Delos Layton. Be strong, but I face the wall. Thank you. Not now, you see, because I need to level up before I can. Defeat him, I believe. It's not easy now that I'm in level 1. Okay. okay, so let me introduce you to some features here. Features they provide here in Granado Espada, right? Town movement, I believe this is the quick teleporting system. It's new though. Okay, let's try that. Oh, okay, and we're back here. Oh, what we have on the floor there, they are pets. We could have pets in this game. They help us to loot, heal, and buff. It all depends. And these are NPCs. Well, you can't recruit all of them, but most of them. Okay, let me show you. Right, so this is my first character, the fighter, Bilar. I should have named him Blair. <laughs> Alright, what we have here is Team Select, where we can select all three of them in one click. Right, so if we deactivate that, we only select one of them. Okay, and we only control one of them here. Okay, but if we click it again, we have all three of them together. So this is quite useful. Team summon will call the other characters to the character we are actually highlighting. And harvest mode, this is the looting system. Hold mode, this is the battle system. Keep mode. Keep mode and hold mode are totally different. See hold mode, my characters will stand in their position and they'll, they'll fight where they stand. They won't move at all. But in keep mode, whenever monsters are approaching, they'll approach back and attack, right? So they're totally different things. Okay, so what we have here is the character's UI. Right, these are the stances. As you can see, this is the stance menu. Fighter, for fighter, musketeer, scout. They have a lot of stance guys in this game. Okay. And to train them is not easy at all. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so these are the skills. Once we leveled up in that particular stance, we can unlock new skills like, let's say, this Earth Tremor. We need level 8 of back guard. Now we are only level 5, so we only have deep strength. 
okay? So, this goes to any other character or NPCs in the game, right? And the maximum level for each stance, I believe, is 25. We have skill points, so we can upgrade them. And they are... Yeah, they kind of um, increase their efficiency and such and whatnot. Okay, and this is the details window of your characters. As you can see, they show their stats, right? Status, attack, defense, resistance, and these are where you put your, how you say, items from your inventory, what you've looted. Weapons here, right? can be quite complicated for you know, new, new players, but once you've played Granado Espada in a certain time, a certain amount of time, you get used to it. And it's simple actually, not hard. Right, so that's for the introduction, I believe. And oh, yeah, and we have a map. The world map. This is the whole continent of Granado Espada, the new world, and that's the world map. And let's have a look at the zone map. This is a small piece of land. This is Site Dare Rebel, way, right? So we are here, and these are quests, I believe. And we can fast travel. Look, you just click on the map and and move for you. Alright, this is the shopping street. But we will go to that in the next video. So, this is the game, Granado Espada. Check it out, guys. My name is Brad Gaming, signing out. See you next time.